grapes in front of us there. Some kind of little animals here. They look like huge rats, but I guess they're little beavers or something. They're playing here in this ravine, bathing, sunbathing, eating. They're pretty cute. Got big, long tails. In Gray Bay. This is a little drainage ravine right behind all the stores. You can see there's some over there too. Okay, we've arrived at San Giovanni something. And um, it was called the Manhattan of Italy. There used to be 70 of these towers. There are some number remaining. I forget what it said. It may have said seven. And it was dueling families that wanted to have the highest towers. Uh, they also were used, though, as defensive mechanisms, and they would pour oil, boiling oil, on people trying to attack them and climb into their area, I guess. Anyway, it promises to be pretty interesting. Okay, so we've just come in through the gate. Here it is right here. And this is what it looks like inside the walls. Now we're going to go to the Museum of Torture. And the book says that it's R-rated. So it could be pretty good. We read in the book about how this little girl had a terminal illness, was punished, and she repented of her sins, one of those being taking an orange, a gift of an orange from a little boy, but she was tied to a board, and uh, rats were allowed to eat her. Wow. It's the view out our restaurant window. It looks like something out of a book. Quite beautiful. What a lovely place. We just had lunch. And so the tower, or these towers, there used to be about 70 of them. And there's less than 10 left, I think they said. And these were uh, families that built towers to uh, outdo the other neighbors. So everybody had to have the tallest tower. Plus they used them as defense mechanisms. I read in the book that they would pour hot oil over people that were trying to get too close to them. Okay, we're here in the square at San Giamanto or something, where everybody built their tower for their home. I guess this is the main square. Pretty cool. A lot of old stuff. Miss State Farm says sometimes she gets tired of looking at old stuff. She wants to look at new stuff, like purses and shoes. When we go past the shoe store and I'm holding her hand, it seems like there's a drag and a drag on my hand. She just wants to slow down, look at shoes and purses. Bye. Okay, here's the view from our parking lot here at San Ginamino or whatever the name of it is. We're headed back to the house for an Italian cooking lesson and dinner. You can see the towers of the city right there. Okay, so we made a little side trip. We're in Penzino, just a little small enclave. This is where the singing butcher is, but we've missed his performance today. We're gonna go down to the square and just piddle and see what the, what's going on, maybe get some gelato. Well, we came to see the singing butcher, but he's not here. I guess he's so famous he doesn't work much anymore. That's my little American girlfriend. We're just here. We came back to the square at Greve for dinner. It's 7 p.m. It's a very beautiful place. We're going to eat in one of these places. We haven't figured out which one yet. We've got to look at the menus. See which one we think we might want to eat at. Here, wild boar is the meat of choice. And we had it. It tastes just like pork to us. The black rooster here is uh, goes back to the 15th century, and it's for the Classico wine, the Chinati. 
or whatever, wine.